guys, what's up? It is your boy Michael here with Playthroughs for you, bringing you another episode of uh, Temtem. So uh, we're just going to continue on our way here. We need to continue our way over to, um, uh, let's see here. I don't want to say this wrong, but uh, I think it's like, honestly, couldn't tell you. Don't know, but if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, been a lot of hype around Temtem, and uh, I can tell you right now, uh, from the last time that I had played it uh, up until now, man, wow, these do a lot of damage. It's insane. Uh, this game has um, gone through some minor changes here, but I'm really excited because a lot of the changes have been like good quality of life changes. Uh, been real nice. We're going to be fighting a trainer here, it looks like. Yep. <coughs> Two trainers. So, we have some side quests here. Where are we going? Ah, yes. Aerosola. That is where we are on our way to. Couldn't remember. Um, and <laughs> what I was thinking in my head was not appropriate. So <laughs> I knew that wasn't the name, so I wasn't going to sit there and embarrass myself and say it. But uh, we're going to use Glass Blade here on uh, this little guy. And uh, I think we want to use Wind Blade here, honestly. And then you shrill voice. Hopefully we KO this guy here. Uh, we did not. Scratch does a good amount. 11. And then oh, also does a good amount. Um, shrill voice should hit everything. And we should be f able to finish off uh, scale here. With the glass blade, I'm hoping. It's two times super effective. Nope, we did not finish it off. Did get some experience, though. Here's a pig epic. Uh, we need to capture one of these for one of our side quests here. Um, yeah, we'll just use Peck here. Let him finish that off. They're going to send out another Temtem. But I feel like we should be okay. Did a good amount. Bamboozle. Bamboozled us. Uh, so we can't hit this guy for two turns, I think. Umishi. This is a cool... I want one of these. Um, Alright, so it lets us know that this Temtem is evading... Uh, so we should try to not hit it. I like how this guy looks. Uh, and I definitely want one of these. Uh, we can't get him until a later, though. Uh, went for the nibble. Alright. Uh, well, we will just finish both of these off, hopefully. Nope, lives a little bit at 1 HP. Hopefully Leona will finish this guy off. Yeah, definitely did. We have our Temescence file, so that's going to save us time from running back and forth. But um, this game requires some training, and I think we might do that off-screen. Um, maybe get everyone up to level 12 or something. I don't know. just depends. I want you guys to see what the other Temtem can do. And uh, we could do a live stream of training. So, Oh, the Temescence file is empty. Looks like we need to go back then. Guess I did not refill that between uh, screens here, but that's fine. It's not really that big of a deal since we're so close to town anyway. There's nothing really left for us to do in this town right now, so we need to make our way over to Aerosola for the next part of the uh, game. So that's where we'll be heading. I haven't really paid much attention to chat here. Uh, it's probably something we'll look further into when I'm not just simply recording and uh, I also think I'm going to make these episodes a little longer. I don't know. I feel like 15 minutes is not a lot of time uh, for these episodes. So I'm just going to run away. I failed both attempts. This is what I don't like. This is probably my biggest complaint. Is that we fail and look, we're already down. Half health. Twy does not have very good defense, honestly. So we're going to have to use a healing item on him. We don't really get a lot of money. Uh, if I'm being completely honest. So let's just go ahead and use a uh, balm on him. Luckily, it restores our health all of the way. Yep, here's another trainer. Um, yeah, sure, let's fight. There's a little Temtem -tem over there. I like how uh, your Temtems follow you around. I think that's really cool. I like that aspect of any of any uh, MMORPG having followers. We're just going to really um, hunker down here on one Temtem. 
And uh, it appears our Temtems are, like, honestly not the strongest. Uh, I think everyone else is, like, real good. They do a lot of damage here. Um, it's a little unfortunate. But that's fine. I mean, we will get more powerful as it goes, so... Back when I originally played, the starter would evolve once, but the third evolution was not in the game. However, I know that they have done a lot of work, so I'm kind of hoping uh, that is no longer the case here. I believe that it isn't. I believe that all of the evolutions of the starters are now in, so it's nice. At least I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so this looks like another battle here as well. Uh, sure. Let's go for a battle. But I know a lot of you are having a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, you guys are probably further than me at this point, as it's been a few days now since the game has come out. And, uh, really I only play when I record. Uh, we're gonna go after Kaku here. Um, but you guys have given me a good amount of information on some of the abilities for some of the Temtems, which I genuinely enjoy. I love reading about that stuff. Bubbles. All right. That does a lot of damage. Wow. Your speed goes up, though. Uh, we are going to use Shrill Voice here. And hopefully KO both of these. Ah, we did. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think Pukey is a, such a funny name for these Temtem. Kalazu. All right. I think, I'm pretty sure this is a water Temtem, but... Uh, sure. I could be wrong, though. That is a nature move. It's not a grass move, so... I don't know if those are the same type of uh, move sets or not, but... Is there anything over here? Um, Alright, let's see if there's any new Temtems we can obtain here. Okay, so here's a Pig Epic. We're gonna try and obtain this little guy here. Um... Yeah, I feel like Peck and Grass Blade are fine. Don't be super effective. Okay, cool. Bamboozle. That's fine. We don't plan on attacking you anymore anyway. Uh, item here. Temp card. Item. Temp card. Uh, we should really have no issue capturing this thing. Oh, really? Wow, broke free. <laughs> Famous last words, huh? We got him all the way down into the red health, so. Cool. We got him. All right, so we can actually go return that. It is a Wind Temtem. It's got really good stamina, pretty decent uh, defense, and really good special defense. The max you can have here is 50. And then Fainted Curse here. Let's When knocked out, the attack loser loses... Okay, the attacker loses 30. All right, so we're going to send this to the Tem deck here. All right, that's pretty awesome. Uh, is there any items over here? Nope, it's just a cliff. So we are going to backtrace a little bit. Might as well... Um, I want to complete this little quest here, and we can uh, heal without having to use our Temescence Vial. So that's fine. I think that's worth it. Coming back here and seeing what reward we potentially will ga grab for uh, having this Temtem. We need to withdraw uh, the Temtem, though. Let's just go ahead and put this guy uh, here. Uh, move. All right. Um, where is our other... Oh, here it is. All right, cool. I don't know why it was on page two. I might have went in and done that before. But I don't recall doing that. All right, so we're fully healed. And let's run out over here. And there's the question mark has now popped up since we have uh, this little guy now with us. Uh, I do. Here's my pig epic. Uh, absolutely, you can hold it. It likes you. Uh, here we go. All right. Okay, it's cool. So we got a revive. Nice little item to snag there. But I really like um, the fact that the developers even put these kind of side quests into the game just shows you the attention to detail and amount of work that really went into this. Uh, I didn't have to do any of that at all. They could have just, you know, made a game... Uh, not really put a lot of forethought into it, but they did. All right, a bunch of people here. <laughs> I sure am. Uh, yes. 
All right. Um, so this guy's talking a lot and then wants to fight us. So don't really feel like going through all of it. So this thing here looks like uh, it evolves from the little swally thing we've got going on. Uh, wow, eight and nine. Okay, crystal dust here. Uh, we're going to go all in on this. Um, I feel like, you know, it is wind and nature, I mean. So we weren't really going to do a lot of damage. All right. I know that does a lot more damage if we're poisoned, which is why I want to take this guy out. Um, we're going to go with Glass Blade here and Shrill Voice, and I believe that should take this out. Cool. Good stuff. Shy Shield, all right. It's all right. We're going to take a little bit of damage here from the poison. Get a lot of experience there. That's what I like to see. Any new moves? Nope. Okay. We're just going to go for Peck. Might be enough. Don't think it will, though. Glass Blade, though, will finish Kaku off, so that's nice. Take some more damage from the poison, but we are now no longer poisoned. Twy is level 13. Attack goes up to 28. All right. Thank you for the battle, madam. Uh, let's see here. Any good Temtems? Oh, I want this. I actually really want this. So, I'm actually going to not even risk using a super effective move. We're going to go for Peck and Nibble here. And um, I, I used this guy in my last playthrough, and gosh, he was so good. Um, I really enjoyed having that guy. So, definitely want him. Uh, and I want you guys to see how good this thing is. So, ah, uh, broke free. That's all right. Should be able to get him. And he's level six, which is actually pretty nice. This is a little difficult training some of these, but I'm going to do that off screen. So this is our first time getting an electric, and you know its stats really aren't that bad. Um, I'm not upset with this. Special attack, that was real bad. Um, cold natured. What does that do? Instead of getting cold, the Temtem gets frozen. Okay. Don't know if that's good or not, but, uh, whatever. For our first, uh, like, little run through here, I'm not really going to be too worried about, um, finding Temtem with really good SVs and stuff. Uh, we can worry about that later. And uh, I remember some of this stuff from last time. The Y, the WIP here uh, stands for work in progress. Um, and I remember this was also a work in progress last time. But I'm excited to see if some of the stuff I remember being WIP is uh, any different. All right. Do I remember my type matchups? Um, I don't. <laughs> so we're just going to go for this. Tenderness. Does that make our attack fall? Yep. Felt like it would. Sand Splatter is really good against Leona, so I don't think that's going to be a good sign for us. Uh, Crystal Dust here and Shrill Voice. Alright, that's two times effective, which is good for us. And Shrill Voice is going to KO the Smazzy. It's a good amount of experience. Cool. <laughs> we could have shit talked there, but we didn't. So there is a little exclamation mark in here. Uh, and if we read the sign, it says work in progress content. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how um, the PlayStation 5 is going to work with uh, WIP stuff. So... Um, I'm kind of assuming the full game will be released for PlayStation 5. And if it isn't, uh, the updates will come. Um, and be really, really kind of unfortunate if, uh, you didn't, you didn't get all of it, um, at the beginning and then had to pay for more. I know a lot of games are moving towards that, but I don't really like that. DC Beam is insane. It's so good. It is really good. Such a good move. All right, so Leona is a level 13. Mishy. We're going to use a Balm here. 
Use a grass blade, glass blade, and uh, we're gonna use a bomb. We really have to. Don't feel like having him get KO'd. Yeah. DC beam again. Hmm. Leona didn't get to go at all. A little unfortunate there. We're just gonna have to heal Twy again. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, we'll go for Crystal Dust here. Uh, we'll actually go for Shrivel Ice. Let's see if we can do it. Might be able to KO both of them. We are pretty powerful. Alright. So we got the one, but we didn't get the other. Which is fine. Water Blade, yeah. Go after Twy. It's unfortunate. Um, let's oh, send in Baharo. <laughs> Look at the little bird. Uh, we'll go for Windblade. It's fine. Cool. Didn't even have to use him. Some good stuff's happening. Bar is level 8. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and use our Temescence Vial here. And that will fully heal everything. And if we come across another Genki, we are going to try and capture it. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, especially since ours did not have very good special attack stats. Uh, and this one also happens to be level 8, so that's actually real nice for us. So we go with the peck here. Windblade, perfect move. Isn't going to do a bunch of damage. Um, yeah, let's just start throwing these Tem cards here. And uh, hopefully we can capture it, and it's got some good uh, SVs. <laughs> Broke free, unfortunate. Hopefully we can capture this one on the so we don't take any more damage. Cool. Looks like we got it. Hopefully it's special attack. Really the only thing I'm worried about. Uh nope. HP, stamina, speed, attack. Uh not very good. What is this? Taken from nature techniques is increased. Okay, well we're just gonna release this. Yes. Still get experience. I don't feel like having a bunch of those in my uh bank back at home, so. Uh, I've never heard about it. I see. Thanks. So we do know about Synergy uh, since we have used uh, some of our moves here. So these look like two evolutions from two Temtems that we've seen before. So we're really getting hit with a lot of Evos here. 14 and 10. This actually might be a battle that we uh, lose. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a lot of damage. Yep, sure was. And we get poisoned. It's unfortunate. Windblade here. Not really going to do that much. So they went all in on Twy, and then he's going to die because of the poison. That is not good for us. As you can see, the trainer's levels really scale up pretty quickly, uh, if I'm being honest. So we're gonna just going to do the same Gonna go after the same one. Yeah. I have a feeling we actually are gonna lose this battle. <laughs> Which isn't gonna be good. Crystal dust, yeah. Well, we used it on uh, Ukama, but it doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, hopefully. Oh, that was actually two times effective. Don't do seven damage. Okay. Good stuff. Um. We're going to use a Balm here, and then Windblade, and hopefully we get priority. Cool. So even though Pahar is only level 80, he did a lot of damage. Oh, so this is what an evolution looks like. So he evolves pretty early. Let's see. The evolution screen is different than what I remember. All right, so that's cool. So we got a par parek or yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm going with. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make my way back to town, but that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. We are gonna withdraw Genki and we're gonna start training. Uh, I am gonna train my Temtems up to like level 13. Uh, between this, you guys aren't gonna have to see that, but um, I might live stream it. So yeah, I think that's probably honestly what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna live stream it. So. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, special shout out to my patrons over at Patreon. Thank you all so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, just a big thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel, uh, even if it's just a thumbs up. I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're thinking about subscribing, you'll get daily content. And uh, I'm going to be doing that for every year. So just big thank you to everyone. And until next time, I will see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.